Trusting in Allah's Plan Once upon a time, there was a young couple named John and Sarah. They were overjoyed when they found out they were expecting their first child. Sarah went through a smooth pregnancy, but during her routine ultrasound, the doctors discovered that the baby had Down syndrome. The couple was devastated by the news. They had always envisioned their child growing up to be healthy and happy, and now they were facing an uncertain future. John and Sarah spent many long nights discussing what they should do. They researched the condition, spoke to doctors and counselors, and tried to make sense of their new reality. But no matter how much they talked, they couldn't shake the feeling that their lives had been turned upside down. One day, as they sat in the hospital waiting room before an appointment, they struck up a conversation with an older couple. The woman had a son with Down syndrome, and as they talked, John and Sarah realized that this woman's son was happy and loved, despite his condition. It was a turning point for the couple. They decided to embrace their child and trust that God had a plan for them. They started attending support groups, seeking out information about the condition, and connecting with other families who had children with Down syndrome. They learned that their child would have unique challenges, but also unique abilities and strengths. Over time, John and Sarah's love for their child grew stronger. They celebrated every milestone, no matter how small, and took pleasure in the simple joys of watching their child grow and develop. They learned that their plan for their child's life might not be what God had in store, but they were determined to trust in Him and His plan. Their child grew up to be a happy and well-loved member of their community. They faced challenges, but also triumphs and successes. John and Sarah learned that the journey of raising a child with Down syndrome was not always easy, but it was always rewarding. In the end, they realized that God's plan was greater than their own. Their child had taught them the value of unconditional love, patience, and acceptance. They were grateful for the unexpected turn their lives had taken and knew that they had been blessed with a special child who had changed their lives in the best possible way. The story of John and Sarah teaches us a valuable moral about the importance of trusting in Allah's plan and having faith in His wisdom. Allah reminds us in the Quran, fighting has been made obligatory upon you believers, though you dislike it. Perhaps you dislike something good for you and like something bad for you. Allah knows and you do not know. 2-216 Sometimes, things don't go according to our plans, but that does not mean that Allah's plan is not better. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him backslash, said how wonderful is the affair of the believer, for his affairs are all good, and this applies to no one but the believer. If something good happens to him, he is thankful for it and that is good for him. If something bad happens to him, he bears it with patience and that is good for him. Sahih Muslim backslash John and Sarah initially struggled with the news that their child had Down syndrome but they ultimately learned to trust Allah's plan and accept their child with love and gratitude. They embraced their new reality and sought out support from their community. This is a beautiful example of relying on Allah and finding strength in Him during difficult times. Furthermore, the Quran teaches us the importance of treating every human being with kindness and respect, regardless of their abilities or disabilities. Allah says O you who have believed, let not a people ridicule, another, people, perhaps they may be better than them, nor let women ridicule, other, women, perhaps they may be better than them. And do not insult one another and do not call each other by, offensive, nicknames. Wretched is the name of disobedience after, one's, faith. And whoever does not repent, then it is those who are the wrongdoers. 4911 backslash John and Sarah's decision to love and celebrate their child, regardless of their differences, is a testament to this Quranic principle. They showed us the importance of accepting and embracing diversity and treating every individual with compassion and dignity. In conclusion, the story of John and Sarah is a beautiful reminder to trust in Allah's plan, find strength in Him during difficult times, and treat every individual with kindness and respect.